Hi guys, welcome back to the next update on my Airfix English Electric Canberra uh, PR9. So, a lot of progress since the last video, um, all painted up, landing gear down, most of the decals are on now. Um, last thing I need to do is put all the little yellow stripes on, which are going to be absolutely pain, massive pain, but apart from all of those, um, a couple of PO tubes just need to be on, and then this big, massive model will be finished, so... The decals, guys, <laughs> um, especially this one over here, was absolutely horrendous. Um, this white stuff kept appearing around them. Not sure what that was all about. Um, I don't think it was the micro saw, or I think if it was, it was reacting with the decals because it hasn't done that on any of them, one of the models. But this decal over here literally just fell to pieces. So. After that, I just didn't really um, use anything else on them, or solutions or anything, only on the small ones. But yeah, as you can see, literally the middle just disintegrated. So I decided to put, um, because there was some extra decals with the kit for another variant, um, so I decided to put the circle out of that, which was separate to the, like the blue and the. Um, the blue and the white and uh yeah i went i did that put that on and it's covered up the mess but you can just tell it's there now so i'm not sure where i was just best leaving it or or what so yeah sorry about that and everything else went on together okay the build was out all right um the wings need filling down here, just a bit of filler, but apart from that, um, it went okay. So, apart from that decor, um, it's all fine. So, yeah, oh, underneath, I'm trying to do underneath it. Um, this one I haven't weathered like that much. I've only done pre shading on it uh, because I don't really want to spoil it with the re weathering. Um, or overdo it so and I'm not sure really where, where how this would get weathered um, but apart from the pre-shading there's nothing on here I think I put a wash on underneath but it didn't really do anything so yeah didn't really do anything so yeah um, it's not a tail sitter um, I watched Genesis Models his video um, and he said that even if you do put the right amount of weight in the nose, it'll still go like that. But for some reason, mine didn't. So, um, I think I might have put in a lot of loads. Um, so, I can remember putting in 100 grams, which is the recommended weight. And then I just decided to put quite a lot more in. Well, not quite a lot, but a bit more in. But I'm not sure how much. I, I might, it might be like 200. Well, not there like 150 grams in the nose so yeah <laughs> it's quite a heavy model so hopefully i don't drop it because it'll probably bloody smash off across the floor but yeah the landing gear went on okay as well um no problem with that um cockpit was nice nice detail in the cockpit unfortunately no decals though um but yeah nice kit guys apart from the decals um nice kit so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time